Hi, I'm Sherry McGill, and you're watching Lessons Learned. Hi, welcome to Monday Morning Quilt Chat. Thanks for stopping by and chatting a little while with me here, or listening to me chat at least. And um, I just wanted to let you know that this past weekend was very productive. Um, I had um, two different, let's see, Zoom groups that I sewed with. One was Thursday, actually. And then the other one was Saturday. And I managed to accomplish a lot during that time. Uh, sometimes you can get caught up in talking with your friends and, and you know, things don't get done or you make mistakes. That's okay. But the main motivation for me to do that in a group is to keep my mind on uh, quilting and to, to keep, you know, we're like cheerleaders to each other. So uh, that's kind of cool. And I just kept working and kept working and got a lot of things done. Um, I showed you my uh, vintage mystery quilt all put together Friday on the design wall back there. And uh, I realized during that video that my bottom row was upside down. So <laughs> that was one of the things that I got fixed. <laughs> and also uh, on, the, on the note of fixing things on a prior video, or it may have been on an Instagram. I think it was on an Instagram photo that I put out of one of my, um, what are they called? The, the blocks I've been doing it look like stars shimmer <laughs> one of the shimmer blocks that I showed had a had a piece missing from it it wasn't that there was holes in it or anything it's just that I was supposed to do a, a stitch and flip on one corner of four blocks and I didn't I just left them white so I got to looking through all my blocks because I had 10 blocks done and I had another one that was just like that that no one ever caught so uh, I spent quite a bit of time fixing those. I had to undo the little corners of each one and stick the, the square that I needed to stitch and flip in there, deal with that, and then stitch it back up. So there was four of those on each of those two blocks. So I got those done, which feels very good, and I won't do that anymore. <laughs> I think I've learned my lesson twice on that. So uh, if I do it again, it's shame on me, right? So I got to counting, I think I only need eight more blocks now, and I do have enough fabric to do it. I had, I had doubts at one point that my fabric was going to work out uh, as far as how much I had cut and how much I had left overall. I had cut it all, and uh, I recounted, and yeah, I do have enough to make my 20 blocks that I need to make. So that's one of those projects I'm going to get done before the end of the year. And uh, let's see, I did something else. Oh, the Hometown Charms. I put the two borders on those. So there's a gray border and a, a light paisley border. And I'm going to use the red for the binding, probably. So um, I'm not sure I'll have that done by this Friday. Uh, that would mean I would need to quilt it and everything. Um, you know, I've already got several quilt tops that I need to to do and I don't know where that one's going to fit in to that pile <laughs> so and as you can see my room back here is getting out of control out of control and that's from buying fabric <laughs> fabric that I need well some of it I need but uh, I'm going to take care of that during the month of December and you will be involved in that too because we're going to have our planning meeting next next Wednesday I'll have a video out and I'm going to tell you what's going to happen in December. I know I've been hinting at it for several videos now and not really given any concrete clues but uh, I think I got it all straight in my head and I will make a video and you will find out what it's going to be like in December. So what else? Uh, I Oh, I got this done. I'll go ahead and show you because I showed you this Friday, right? I just had the block done. And so I got my outer border put on. No, not outer border. The binding. I 
quilted it, put the backing on, quilted it, put the binding on. And I used the light binding, which is this color right there. So, cute. I only have one barn block mini left to do for December. You guys have persevered with me. Thank you so much for persevering with me on my barn block minis. <laughs> uh, I don't know that I'll do a, another project like that for a while. That's like doing a quilt every month. I mean, albeit small, you know, it's still, you know, a whole quilt. And let me see, is there, I'm looking around at my junk and <laughs> kind of seeing what I was supposed to be talking about. Um, I think that's it as far as what I wanted to share with you on projects, but put in the comments below what you worked on this weekend. I'd like to, to hear from you on that. Uh, just put a little quick note and say, I worked on this or I finished this. You don't, it doesn't even mean you have to have finished it. Just tell me what you're working on because I'm interested in, in your projects that you've got going on too. And while I'm here, I have not mentioned it for a while, but uh, there's been a little slowdown in subscribers and there's re there are reasons for that. Uh, part of it is you know, just the time of year, people are focusing on other things, and rightly so. Um, yeah, it's just one of those times of year for, for YouTube, it's eh, kind of iffy. It can kind of go either way, and a lot, for a lot of people, some, th some sorts of genres of, of YouTube videos, it, it goes down, and I think this might be one of them. Um, I, uh, would like for you if you're watching this video if you've just found me for the first time or you've been watching for a long time and you just haven't done it would you just go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now i will give you a second to look for it find that red button or something that says subscribe <laughs> and click it and and subscribe because uh this is a common statistic um, on YouTube that 60% of the people that watch are not subscribed. So <laughs> I would like to hit a certain goal in 2023. So if we can start now, all the better. So if the 60% of you that are watching this video right now, please hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it so much. And that would be very encouraging to me because making videos is not an easy task it's it's very time consuming it's fun and i love to do it but it's very time consuming for both myself and my husband so uh, it'd be great if you'd subscribe and and help the channel to get uh recognized more and rec recommended more so that it continued can continue to grow and prosper it's for not just my benefit but for yours too so I appreciate that very, very much. And I love all of you subscribers who've been subscribed to me for a long time. I know um, many of you by name and we talk and we know each other. So uh, there's more of you out there that, that uh, you know, I would like to get to know. So leave your comments, subscribe and all that good stuff. Send me emails, lessons learnt 2021 at gmail.com. I answer everything. So don't be, don't be afraid of me. I'm, I am an open book <laughs> and whatever you ask, I will consider. So if you just want to talk or share something with me, either way in comments or email, I'm going to be there so you can count on me. All right. So designer spotlight, let's talk about a different company this time. We've had two from art gallery fabrics and I'm going to pick two from uh, Benertex Fabrics. Benertex Fabrics appears to be quite a large company. Um, they have uh, quite a few designers. Quite a few. And I have chosen for today a woman named Mar Marta Cortese. Like C-O-R-T-E-S-E. Marta Cortese. 
Let me read what it says about her on the Benertex designer fabrics. Marta Cortesi lives and works in Turin, Italy. She was born and raised in Asti in the middle of the Monferrato Hills. I don't know if my Italian's very good. I speak Spanish, so it's similar. An architect by training, an architect. She chose to follow her attitude towards a creative profession in which she can freely express herself. Marta began to explore the world of visual communication, exploring typography, calligraphy, illustration, and finding the best way to express and combine her great creative imagination with her innate aesthetic taste. Since 2015, Marta has been working as a professional textile designer. In 2017, she co-founded Nero De Sepia Studio, no longer active. From 2020, she has chosen to continue operating as an independent designer, signing the design she creates and offering her clients custom services. In parallel with her work, Marta loves to devote herself to experimental calligraphy, a variant that approaches the pure sign up to the complete abstraction of the letter. She further elaborates her calligraphic tables through folds, cuts, and binding, and transforms them into book sculptures that can be opened and discovered in many different ways, letting oneself be carried by the creative flow. That's deep. This practice allows her to experiment with a manual technique capable of giving her a creative, a great creative drive, which she then transfers into her daily work. So I just wanted to show you really quickly some of her um, designs. These are uh, called, the ones you're going to be able to see are called Magic Wings and Rhythm. You can see that magic wings has to do with butterfly wings. And then the other is very geometric in different colors. I love color. So she's right up my alley. And then she has some earthy ones down here. I like these. Very natural geographic, geo, geometric, not geometric. Topographic, maybe? And there's more that you can see that are full collections. But uh, those are called, um, I said, Painted Prism, Rhythm, Magic Wings, Colored Glass, Metal Fusion, and Color Wash. Very, very pretty. Go on there at the uh, Benertex.com um, site and look under about us and then you can do our designers and then you'll see all the designers there but she happens to be the first one uh in the group there so i didn't pick her just because she was first i picked her because i liked what she uh what she creates so there's many more on there i'll pick one more uh from uh Benertex next week and then, um, as usual, you can go to their quilt pattern section and find free quilt patterns. So if you see something on there that you would like to try, you can just download it, print it off, or look at it on your computer or iPad and put your quilt together. So, yeah, there's some cool ones out here. There's a bunch. So, um... It's just a big smorgasbord of quilt patterns, which we love, don't we? It's like being in a candy store. <laughs> uh, I saw, um, there's another girl that I watch sometimes. She has a, a video every maybe one or two a month, something like that. Um, her name is Nora Burroughs, and her channel is called Mostly Quilts. And she recently took... Um, an all-over butterfly print, like uh, lots of butterflies that just kind of, you know, they're all over the, the fabric. She took and cut those in some interesting ways because she didn't really want 
a butterfly wing to actually show up in her block but she just wanted like some of the components of a butterfly wing mainly for for the color combinations and so that kind of reminded me of it here um, with Marta Cortese is you know she created this um, line with butterfly fabric that looks kind of like what Nora Burles was trying to do with her butterfly uh, fabric and she, and she did a good job it was it was successful I would say what she did but it reminds me very much of this magic wings uh, from Bintertex so go go to Bintertex.com and tool around in there and see what you can find lots of good stuff in these companies websites so that's our designer spotlight for this week and Wednesday I'll have the video out about what's going to happen in December and it may not be too long I'm just going to tell you what my plans are for December for myself and for the channel and then the following Wednesday we'll have our finish it Friday next week too this coming week and then our Monday quilt chat and then Wednesday of next week um, I will have a collaboration video out and it involves three other YouTubers um, who are in this genre of YouTube and we're gonna we're gonna have a little not a contest but kind of a kind of an eye-opener as far as combining fabric so let's let's just hang in there for for Wednesday too that'll that'll be interesting for you all to see and to get you familiar with some other channels too so there might be some out there that you don't know some of them you're gonna know but not all of them so uh, there will be that on on Wednesday and then uh, yeah so I guess I'll be back here uh, for you on Wednesday and we'll talk some more we'll chit chat some more about what's going on and I will see you guys then and in the meantime don't forget to subscribe like I already mentioned and I will see you on the next video and no matter what you're doing this week make a little time for sewing because it's good for you all right we'll talk to you soon bye